There's another ten bobs worth for old Mother Butler. Oh. <laughs> cool. Her marriage must be as big as airships, the amount she buys. <laughs> Not as much as they used to be, though. Getting very irregular lately. I suppose she's getting old. Doesn't work that way with me, though. <laughs> oh, well. Wasn't better get an old face egg supper ready. <laughs> I held up getting your dinner ready. I was expecting you around about four. Has the horse been put away? Yeah, he's been put away. <laughs> what are you doing with all that stuff hanging around you? Are you going to clean it? About time. That horse is a disgrace. You don't look after him. Have you noticed I cleaned out the stable and creosoted it? And I got another two sackfuls to you to bring down to the old mother butler. By the way, as he started doing it in the street. <laughs> Cosby, as yes, you bring a bucket and shovel and pick it up, don't leave it. <laughs> we don't want them nipping out of their back gardens, picking it up free of charge, do we? <laughs> hey, it's a useful little byproduct, that. Pays for his oats. 
in one end, out the other, don't cost a penny. <laughs> That's economics, that is. That's what you're always on about, you and your party. Harold Wilson, don't do that, do we? <laughs> I said, Harold Wilson, don't do that, do we? Not that, please, that. Well, what's the matter with you? You look as though you'd lost two bob and found a tanner. Dad, I, I want to talk to you, Dad. Sit down. Now, I haven't time to sit down. I'm getting the dinner. Well, don't worry about the dinner. I can eat nothing now. Please, sit down. I don't want to sit down. Sit down! <laughs> Dad, I have asked you to sit down. Because I've something to tell you. Well, the time comes in everyone's life to everyone and everything when they have to face the prospects of carrying on with, with all the things, what they have gathered around them, not being fair anymore. Where are you going? <laughs> hey, you picked up some bird and you want to clear off and shack up with you, you dirty little toe rag. <laughs> I will leave you dead. Not now. I'm sorry. Well, what, what, what I'm trying to say is that, well, there comes a time, you see, to everything and uh, everybody, when they have to face up to the fact that, well, We've all got to shuffle off this mortal coil. <laughs> what? Snap it, die. I ain't making no will. I'm not talking about you. Oh, God. Look, you see, when that time comes, as come it must, to everybody and, and everything, we, we, we've got to face up to it bravely and carry on the, the best way we know how. Yeah, even in the midst of life, there is death. I know. Well, now you know. But, but even when you know, you know. When it happens, the, the shock and the grief can sometimes be too much to bear. That's why I've always got to be ready for it. Because it can sometimes happen to somebody close. I've only got you. Are you sure? Yeah. Only you and... Exactly. The horse. What's wrong with him? Nothing. Oh, well, I say nothing. It's not exactly <laughs> true. Why? He's dead. <laughs> it's not true. It is true, Dad. I was quick. He didn't suffer. Hercules? Dead. I mean, he can't be. He was all right this morning. He had his... Apple and his little lump of sugar. Oh, no. He really enjoyed that, didn't he? How? Where? It was a heart attack. He didn't feel a thing. He went out like a lot. <laughs> we, we were just coming into the Goldhawk Road. You was say. racing him. I was. No, no, I was. No, no, I, I, knew, I knew you'd say that. I knew it. And I'd get the blame. You was racing him. I was always telling you about racing him. He was always racing him. I didn't race him. I never raced him. It was hard enough getting him to move. <laughs> it was an heart attack. Dead. <laughs> I, I didn't race him. I never raced him. He, he, he was old, Dad. It was his time ago. Where is he now? I took him away. Dan Renaka's yard. <laughs> Down the where? Dan Renaka's yard. Well, where else could I send him? He was blocking the road. <laughs> I, I was going to have him buried. Decent Christian burial in the animal cemetery. I had a plot reserved for him. I didn't know that. Because you never listen, that's why. You only think of yourself, self first, last, and always. I was going to have a, a headstone, little flower pots, an inscription, R.I.P. Instead of which, what happens? He's going to end up 
spread across some plate in a Belgian restaurant. Well, <laughs> where is Sir Lyball, sis, there? Besides, he was unfit for human consumption. He was, he was. Unfit <laughs> for human consumption. He was, he was. He wasn't. He, was. he was too old. I'll never get my teeth through him. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do with him then? I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. I don't? Yes, you do. Cat's meat! <laughs> That's what it'll be. Cat's meat! Staked up in some supermarket in great piles of tin <laughs> with labels on special offer frippin's off. <laughs> Save six of these labels for a record of Freddy and the Dreamers. <laughs> That's his reward for all those years of loyal service. He should have finished up his days grazing in a sunlit field, smelling the flowers. Instead of which, what happens? He's dead. Bung him in a tin. Well, I only hope he knows what you've done to him. Well, it wasn't my fault. I never had an horse die on me before. I didn't want to do. That's the police what sends for the knackers, man. You could have said no and brought him home. Now, <laughs> what do you expect me to do? Sling around my neck and walk home? <laughs> I'm not pleading just for a done, mate. <laughs> How much did they give you for him? Oh. That's the cost of a transport. 30 bob. <laughs> Very appropriate. 30 pieces of silver. It wasn't. <laughs> it was a quid and a tenth of no. <laughs> Anymore. I don't want your blood money. Well, you, 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 you can put it towards the cost of a new one. A, a new one? Oh, we've got to have one, haven't we? Ain't you got no feelings at all? Hercules hardly cold in his tins, and you're talking about buying another one. <laughs> well, Doctor, we can't operate without an horse. And life must go on, Dad. I'm just as cut up about it as you. You're not half as cut up as the horse is. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop buying out of my horse? It's not my fault. We got blimey, it was 39. That's how of a night, am. <laughs> no, I mean, he was entitled to die. But he'd probably look forward to it. I mean, did you realise that if he'd have been a fella, he'd have been knocking on 114? That's stupid, I mean, all, all this fuss. You don't expect to live to be 114, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. And my dad, you go, I don't want you hanging around. I'd probably end up the same as him. Don't you worry, mate. They wouldn't be worth their while. They'll probably get a hold of you into one tin. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going down to the church. Say a little prayer to God. So you better give him your name and address, because he won't remember who you are. <laughs> Your dinner's on the stove. cat in your family, it has to be Super Cat. <laughs> Super Cat.
<laughs> oh, come on, Dad. It's not good mopping around like this. I ain't gonna bring him back, is it? Do you realize he was born on the same day as Princess Margaret? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that, that's what I mean. The mouse horses only lived till they're 20. He had the good innings. He's the oldest horse I've ever heard of. In fact, I was going to call him Margaret Rose if it had been a bird. Margaret. <laughs> Don't you tell me about horses. Sorry, Dad. He was born in that stable out there. Now, oh, now, you tell me. Dark night, I remember. Stormy. The vet couldn't get round. I had to deliver him myself. I brought him into the world, and I didn't see the going of him. Uh, he should have come and got me, Harold. I would have liked to have one last look at him. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. I, I just didn't think. I mean, what, what with, the, with the police cars there, and all the traffic wardens, and, and all the cars out And you haggling over your 30 bob. It wasn't like that. I bet you never even tried to kiss a life. No, I didn't. <laughs> You'd have to have a mouth bigger than Mick Jagger, give him a kiss of life. You could have tried. What well, didn't? I didn't get in touch with Dr. Barnard for an art transplant, neither. I'm really sorry. He had a lovely pedigree. You could trace his ancestors right back to the charge of the Light Brigade. That's a lies. His dad used to pull a coal cart. His mum was a fright from United Dairies, and I stopped him at the school. <laughs> Remember this? Acton Jim Carner, 1937. Car Tours of the Year. And this one. Another first. 1939. Concord's Delegance. What needs to get a look in that year? <laughs> I turned down 500 quid for them in them days. Yeah, shame. Could have been Gordon Richards' first derby winner. <laughs> and now he's gone. Yeah. Best friend I ever had. Yeah, I know. He was more like a son than a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> well, he never gave me grey hairs. He never went out at night and left me all on my own. Oh, God. <laughs> he never answered me back. I kicked you a few times now, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I mean, look, look, it's nonsense, all this. You do make me laugh. You wouldn't have been carrying on like this if it had been lean lines stretched out on the gold dock road. You wouldn't have been sitting here with a pair of my shoes on the table and my swimming medals. <laughs> and we wouldn't have been shut, neither. We're going to notice fair, all right. Business as usual. Gone to a funeral. Back in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you just won't understand, will you? That horse is the only friend I've ever had for the last 20 years. You never bothered about me. Going out every night, leaving me on my own. It was a comfort to me to know he was out there in the stable. I used to go out at night, sit with him, talking to him. I'm surprised you didn't invite him in here. What? <laughs> well, you could both sat watching television together. I can just see him sitting back in my chair with his legs crossed. <laughs> watching Panorama. A pint of beer in his zoo. <laughs> you could have let him have my room and bang me out in the stables. You might just as well have. You looked after him better than me. You always had better grub than I did. That's not true. You always have a meal waiting for you when you come home. Yeah? Like that sumptuous feast I had last night. A tin of stewing steak from Zambia. 
Oh, look, Dad, what is the point of a bickering old like this? Look, I, I know you was fond of him. So was I. But he's gone. That's all there is. You've got to pull yourself together. Look, I've got a new horse outside. Did you want to come and see him? No. Oh, but he's a lovely horse, Dad. I'd love to have your opinion on him. I'm not interested. Ah, oh, but you're only saying that because, of, look, look, once you get used to the idea, you love him. I won't. You will. I mean, a keen judge of horse flesh like you. I, I, I'd love you to have a look at him. I, I, I think I got a bargain. And it costs 90 quid. Can't be much good for that. Yeah, well, that, 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 that's what I mean. I would like you to cast your expert eye on him. Well, you don't know about horses I'm worth knowing. Come on. Come on. Have a look at him. No. <laughs> Don't want anything to do with him. You bought him, you look after him. Uh, what do you think I ought to call him? Call him what you like. As so long as it's not Hercules. Oh, no. oh, I wouldn't call him Hercules. Oh, there's only one... I mean, there was only one Hercules. I was thinking of calling him Samson. <laughs> well, he's a strong horse. They pull a lot of weight. He, he, he's, he's, he's 13 hands. Not as big as Hercules. Oh, no, not as big as him. But, but he's young. Got a lot of life in him. Good. He'll be company for you. Can I have a look at him? No! All right. So you don't like him. I'm not asking you to like him. Just, just come and have a look at him. Have, have a look at him professionally. Look, forget he's a horse. Think of him as an asset. Come and have a look at your asset. Look, <laughs> whether you like him or not, we've got to have him for the business. I don't care about the business. I've lost interest. I have a feeling I won't be here much longer. <laughs> oh, God, here we go again. I shall go and join Hercules. I'll be better off up there. There's nothing left for me down here, not now. I'm not needed no more. I, I'm, I'm in your way. Uh, that, that, that's not true, Dad. Of course it's true. You've said so lots of times. Oh, that's only about having rows. Well, we're always having rows. Only because you keep getting on my tit. <laughs> hey, Arthur. Look, Harold. I'm an old man. I'm worn out. When you get to my age, the only thing that keeps you going is knowing that somebody needs you, and the only one that ever needed me is gone. So, what's the point? Now, that, that is silly. Dad, you're needed. I mean, I need you. A Samson needs you. No, you don't. You're both young, healthy. There's nothing else I can do for you. Oh, but please, Dad, don't go. Let's talk about it. I'm just... A useless old twit that's lived too long. You're not going to do anything silly. I'm going to bed. You think about it, Harold. You know I'm right. And there's your mother, too. I haven't seen her in a long time. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> what did you have to go and die for? I was going out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Peter. How are you feeling today? Hey, I brought your breakfast up again. Come on, Dad. You can't go on like this. You've got to eat. You ain't eating nothing for three days. Oh, gold. <laughs> Have a sausage. <laughs> Come on. Put your teeth in. Have a bite. <laughs> now, look, Dad, you can't stay in bed forever. Come on, get up. You're going to lose the use of your legs. Get up, please. Go away. 
I've got, got to work. Oh, I'm not stopping you. I can't leave you like this. Yeah, I'll tell you what. When I come home, we're going to get dressed up, we're going to go out and eat, and I'm going to take you to the pictures. Go away. We'll go and see I Am Curious, Yella. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good film. Hey, it's Swedish. I've heard you can actually see them having it away. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> they, don't, they don't cut away to the faces, nor the sea rushing in, nor nothing like that. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, God, he must be ill. <laughs> Here, look, I'll tell you what. Now, you, you have to look through the paper, all right? Now, when I come home, I'll, 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 I'll take you out and I'll get home early, all right? Uh, I've got to go to work. Do you do your pillars? Right, well, I'll see you tonight, then, all right? Samson, he's lying there. He's ill. Dad, you got to help him. All of that. No, no, it'll be ours. Sarge, you know more than he does. Come down, have a look at him. Dad, please, Dad, help him. Look, he's going to die. I know, he's just going to die. Please, Dad, don't let him die. Are you sweating? Yeah, it's pulling off of him. What about his eyes? I'm rolling all over his head. <laughs> Taking his temperature? No, I don't know how to. Oh, Dad, please, you've got to look at him. Get me bag. Your bag. <laughs> and blankets. Lots of them. Right. No! <laughs> you keep outside. Tomorrow the entrance and help. I don't need you. <laughs> Pull yourself together! <laughs> oh, please, don't let him die. Not two in one week, please. <laughs> it's all right, Dad. Be quiet, I'm busy. Go make yourself a cup of tea. <laughs> Go. You're a great useless article. What are you? Look in there. No. Go on. No, no, Look in there. No. <laughs> I think I'll call him Samson. <laughs> Did you look at it when you bought it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, look, I looked at its mouth and its legs and its hooves. As you were down there, didn't you notice nothing missing? <laughs> well, you're not looking for that sort of thing. You don't notice it, do you? <laughs> How about the size of her? I just thought she was well fed, that's all. <laughs> not a bad little foal. Reminds me of Hercules when he was a baby. The mother's not bad either. Nice, sturdy little horse. Yeah, I think I'd better change your name to Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad you was here, Dad. I want to know what to do. Oh, well, can't be expected to know everything. Uh, but what do you think we ought to call the little one? Well, I was thinking we should call it Hercules the Second. Oh, yeah. That'd be very nice. Hercules for a second. <laughs> Come on, I'm starving hungry. Hey, what'd you say the name of that film was? I'm curious, yellow. Do they really have it away? <laughs> <laughs> Up a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have 
some of that. Oh, boy, you have some of that.